Hey guys, so it's day 10 of the quarantine in Spain. We only have 20 more to go. For now. This number may be extended though, if it's necessary. I just wanted to share with you my daily routine. Every morning I start with morning pages. I have been doing this course of the artist way book to just understand yourself better. It really helps me to just clean my mind. When I'm done with morning pages, I do my daily meditation. I do it every single day and I try to not skip any, especially these days. If you feel anxious these days and you are constantly worrying about what is going to be next, just try introducing meditation in your life. This is going to be so, so helpful for you. I try to go outside to the terrace in the mornings and I'm so, so grateful that I have this terrace. I can't imagine being locked in a flat without being able to go even to the balcony. I really like to just go and take a little bit of fresh air and just look to the outside world. And then I go and make breakfast. Most of the days I eat eggs, avocado toasts, or oatmeal with berries and bananas, which is what I'm gonna eat today. It's really tasty. I love breakfast in general. It's my favorite meal of the day. Some coffee, of course, and I like to watch a video in YouTube while I have breakfast. And then I get to work. And I work, and I work more, and I work a bit more. I'm a freelancer, by the way. I do link building. I don't know if you know what that means. Did I want to be a link builder? No, I don't think anyone wants to be a link builder. But right now I'm pretty grateful for this job. I was working from home before all this started. So in this area my life hasn't really been impacted that much and I really hope it stays that way. These are times of uncertainties. A lot of people lose their jobs and I'm really grateful that for now I have my freelance opportunity with me. At some point the CEO of the company I work for right now sent an email where he suggested uh, to listen to a podcast. And so the reason that 400 million rolls of toilet paper got sold last week was that people were looking for a talisman. They were looking for an animal sacrifice. They were looking for a way to insulate themselves from a world that wasn't the way they expected it to be. And we do these actions because we're trying to get things back to the way they're supposed to be. If you're listening to this, go grab a pen. I find it's useful to do these things in pen, but you can also do it on the computer. And it's not a bad idea to actually write out what would the best version of me be doing right now? What would the best version of me be doing with my time during this period? What would the best version of me be look like at the end of this time? So I usually work from, from like 9 to 1 p.m. and then I have lunch and I watch Friends when I eat. And then I get back to work till 5 or 6 p.m. Hey everyone, so I just finished working. Uh, I just wanted to go a little bit outside to the terrace, but it actually is starting to rain, so... And it's really cold. It's been really, really cold again these days, and the flat is so cold. I'm just freezing all the time and I'm just trying to drink tea as much as I can. But yeah, so... These days have been pretty hard. My mood goes up and down. Sometimes I feel better, sometimes I feel a little bit worse. And yeah, I just try to kind of work on my mood and try to avoid or work on my negative thinking as much as I can. 
So I actually was planning to go to Russia before all this started and I had my trip planned uh, on the 18th of March and all my tickets got cancelled of course um, and then I decided to try to leave Spain before everything closes. Uh, I wanted to leave to Germany where my boyfriend currently is and when I decided to finally go for it because I was really indecisive I didn't know if I if I should go if you know so when I finally decided it was too late and yeah they actually didn't let me didn't let me board a plane even though it was not forbidden that day yet but um, from that day exactly the day when I wanted to go they stopped letting non-German residents um, fly back to Germany so I was really really discouraged and that was all last week um, yeah I was really sad and discouraged about that um, because I'm just stuck here in my cold flat but yeah of course I understand that the things that are going on right now are happening to everyone and a cancelled trip is not the worst thing that can happen to you so I'm just thankful that everything is fine that my family is fine and yeah I just try to kind of work on my negative thinking because sometimes I still can feel down when there is this pressure and there is like this negativity and you kind of feel it's like you feel the negativity of the whole world somehow it's a it's a really weird timing right now right so what do I actually do to to kind of work on my negative thoughts I definitely meditate every day and I actually have been meditating for a while already, way before this. Uh, but now I actually try to be really consistent and never skip the day. Sometimes I even do it twice per day because I just find that it's, it helps so much with catching yourself on negative thoughts, on controlling your thoughts. It just helps me to switch. Another thing is I journal every morning. And I also have been doing that way before all that, but now I'm really trying to uh, journal and ask myself questions like how do I feel today, why do I feel so, why do I feel bad, you know, why do I feel so down, why do I feel so discouraged and so on. And yeah, uh, in the end of my journaling session I just always try to finish it on a, on a positive note and think about what is actually good in my life which are things that I'm really thankful and grateful for is so important I do that on the days when I'm especially like when I feel down um, yeah just to think that things could be much worse and that you have to be grateful for whatever it is another thing is I really try to not read as much news anymore and I remember perfectly the first uh, week uh, when everything started to happen so quickly when when I was literally like renewing my news feed just to see some other big number of you know infected or some other um, lockdown or some other restrictions or yeah now uh, since everything has been stable if you call if you can call it like this for more than a week um, I have been on the, on the self-isolation so that's just my little world um, is my flat so I just try to uh, read as few news as possible and you know I'm not afraid to miss something huge because if there is something really really huge somebody's gonna tell you and you're gonna find out about it uh, it's impossible to miss something so I'm really not afraid to um, not know something important that I have to know and so instead I try to watch uh, really positive content and I just watch a nice uh, funny TV show that is gonna make me feel good even if it's just 20 minutes per day like friends you know and I watch only positive videos on YouTube and some tips about self-care uh, during this period and yeah I really enjoy all these things and it just makes me feel better I try to exercise every day or at least almost every day and I do yoga which is also like it helps me a lot because it's a really positive practice and in the end you you think about what you're grateful for so it wouldn't be the same for me to do just you know cardio workout or something like that that's why I really try to do yoga 
because it just makes me feel so much better after after I do it. The one thing that I actually am struggling with is is my reaction when I talk with someone about these things because all we are discussing now, like with anyone, with my parents, with the friends, is just the same things. Like what's new about coronavirus, and that's when I find it hard to actually be positive because you just end up. Uh, complaining and it's a little bit even like a competition like oh in my country they they forbid that and in my country you cannot even go outside uh, in my country they extended the quarantine and so on you know and this is what I'm really tr struggling with is when I discuss these things with other people all my positivity it just uh, goes away and I just start to complain and you know all the negative sentences just come out of your mouth that's what I'm gonna try to work on as well and it really is starting to rain <laughs> so I'm just gonna go inside because my camera is gonna get wet but oh my god I actually really really like rain because I mean come on I live in Spain and it never rains and when you're stuck at home why does it matter you know sun actually annoys me a little bit when I'm stuck at home because I cannot go out and enjoy it so at least I can be at home with my candles and it's really cozy so let me guys know where are you what is going on in your country and how are you holding up I really wish you all to stay safe and just try to be to find the best out of this situation just just find the good things uh, because if we concentrate on the negatives there are a lot of negatives we can actually focus on so let's not do that yeah and i'm gonna be making more videos uh, while i have all the time all the free time these days and i'm gonna go do my yoga now i'm doing these online sessions uh that my my yoga my yoga teacher is actually doing online in in instagram in live stream it's my favorite teacher in the world. The classes are in English. If you're curious, um, let me know and I'm gonna tell you her account if you want to check it out. It's so good. I, they make me feel so good, these classes. Really, it's like the, the highlight of my day, to be honest. And yeah, after that, I'm just gonna have my peaceful evening, have dinner and I'm actually, I actually started to do this online course that they gave away for free that's what i also love about this uh, thing that is going on right now as so many companies and resources and organizations are giving away things for free and it just makes me feel so connected the world gets so close and connected i feel and so there is a course that they actually gave away for free um, it's the most popular course of yale in, in the history, like out of all the courses that Yale provides, this is the most popular course and it's for free now. So I have, I'm gonna be doing it. It's called The Science of Well-Being and Happiness, I think. Uh, check it out, it's in Coursera. And yeah, that's what, uh, that's what my evenings are like. Every day is really the same when you cannot go outside. But yeah, I'm just trying to get the best out of this and do the things that otherwise I wouldn't have time for. Good night guys, stay safe and I see you in the next one.